Welcome back. This video is on a slide roll I want to call the Hemi 258AB, but it is an example of a Franken roll. <laughs> That's a roll where you took a cursor or something uh, and put it on another roll, or you just combine two rolls in a strange way which should not be together. It's not historically accurate, it's not um, indicative of the original rolls, and somehow you made something like a Frankenstein. Uh, roller. So uh, here I have two non-Franken rolls. Uh, these are two Hemi full-size bamboo slide rolls. Actually today it's it's very humid here and um, I finally learned that the uh, Hemi uh, bamboo slide rolls are subject to moisture and temperature changes. These Both these slide rolls were very uh, hung up on the, whatever adjustment I had them. I had to loosen them a little bit to get them to slide. Um, okay, uh, here we have a Hemi 259 um, this slide roll is uh, uncommon in the United States. We know that the uh, Versalog was originally uh, called the Model 258, uh, but was not sold under the 258 name for very long. Uh, but really, the, the Versalog is really a North American uh, slide roll, and the 259 is the slide roll uh, Hemi made for the Japanese market and other markets. Um, okay, the 259, uh, I've had in other videos before, uh, but here's a look at it. It has um, folded scales. It has eight log log scales. Um, uh, it doesn't have the root scales that the Versalog has. That's the big uh, differentiator. Um, okay, so instead of the root scales, it has A and B. We know the original Versalog does not have A or B, uh, but down here I have a Versalog 2, which does have the A scale. Uh, it also has the self-documenting features. Those are not on the original Versalog. Um, okay, now I love the Versalog slide roll, um, but, you know, my main complaint about the Versalog slide roll is, look, sometimes you just want a B scale. You want to take something, you want to divide by a square root, uh, you want to do that in a chain calculation, or you also want a square, and so you don't want to do that using the square root scales. Um, sometimes it's just nice to have that B scale. Um, but I do also like the root, having the root scale sometimes. Um, now, Hemi makes a, a very rare slide roll for the person that, that wants the square root scales and the A and the B scale, and it's called the 259DS. Uh, I recently saw one for sale on eBay, of course, way out of my price range. Uh, but the 259DS must have been produced in very small quantities, very hard to find. Um, but it's basically a Hemi 259 um, with, I think the so, well, let's take a Hemi 260, remove the P scale and the DI scale, and put the two square root scales on it. I think that's what the, the 259DS is. And so actually I'm not sure why they retain the D in the designation, because the 259, the D means DI scale, which I think is removed on the DS. Um, okay, so what I, what I had though is I had a Hemi 259 slide roll, uh, which had kind of a bad, it had it had some damage to the base part, um, some marks on it, and uh, was kind of warped. Uh, but the sliding part was good, and I had a, a Versalog 2, uh, which had the opposite problem. The base was good, but the slide, um, the celluloid was peeling off. And so uh, what struck me was, look, the 259, look at the difference between the 259 its trigonometry part and the Versalog's trigonometry part. The difference is that on the 259 series, the 259, the 259D, the 260, uh, Hemi puts five scales here. They put um, S, S, T, and T, the trig scales. Uh, they put the C scale, and they also put a B scale. Whereas on the Versalog, the B scale is missing, and they limit themselves to four scales. But otherwise, now look, this is a superset of the scales you have here. They just added B and crammed things together a little bit more, um, putting the S and the T back to back. Um, now, of course, since both of these have folded scales, the folded scales are on the reverse part of the slide, on both slide, right? On both slide rolls. So the scales you have on the reverse are the same. So I, I got to thinking with that, uh, those other two slide rolls, what if I took the good part of one and combined it with the good part of the other? Uh, so that's what I did here. Here's a Versalog 2 slide roll, where the slide is replaced by the slide of a Hemi 259 um, to create what I want to call the 258AB. Uh, why? 
Uh, well, because it's kind of a, think of it as an original Versalog, a Hemi 258, where I added an A scale and a B scale, and that's exactly what you get here. Um, okay, you do get some of the self-documenting from the Versalog 2, but, uh, but look, now I have the A scale from the Versalog 2, um, but I also have the B scale from the Hemi 259. Okay, they're on opposite sides of the slide roll. Uh, but very rarely do you actually use them together, especially when you have the folded scales. So it's not a big disadvantage. You can use on this side uh, B together with the C scale, and if you're on this side, you can use the A together with the C scale uh, to do the types of operations you might want to do. You can chain things together. If you're willing to flip the rule over, you have all the scales that are on the 259DS uh, by combining these two slide rolls. Um, now, there's some little details that are off, like the the, there's a little bit more yellowing on the slide here since the 259 was a much older slide roll. Um, the ends of the scales don't exactly line up uh, because of the effect of age on the uh, the natural materials, I think, the one being much older than the other. Interestingly, interestingly though, the 259 seems to be the longer, the longer one by a little bit, uh, which is interesting. I would think that the older one would have shrunk a little. Um, but it could also be that they changed the manufacturing a little bit somehow. Uh, but anyway, this slide roll, which uh, is kind of the poor man's 259DS, um, I like to call the Hemi 258AB slide roll. Um, kind of a salvage of two slide rolls that uh, have good parts and bad parts. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any other Franken rolls uh, that deserve mention, uh, cool combinations of things, or uh, anything like that. And have a great day.